So you guys already know that I love cooking, but like in the past little while, I've kind of gotten into the same kind of routine of just, you know, just like normal stuff that's easy to cook in the van, especially like wraps and stuff now that's been nicer. But oh my God, I don't know what came over me yesterday. I just like got an urge to try different things. I was walking around Save On Foods and just like picking up like all this random stuff off the shelves. And last night I ended up making the best pasta I think I've made in so long. It was like butternut squash pasta. And then I made like garlicky Brussels sprouts and then like smoky maple tempeh and put it in there and, oh, with like hummus and, and marinara sauce. Oh my God, it was so good. And now today, I'm not quite hungry yet, but I'm already thinking about the food that I can make today. So basically, today we are going to a place that we've been dying to go to for a pretty long time, at least since we've seen it on Instagram, and then try to get outside as well, you know, as per usual. So, um, just gonna drink coffee here. We spent the morning, like, um, we spent the morning just, like, cleaning up, basically, in here. It was an absolute pigsty. Um... And we still have like wedding planning to do and exploring to do and we're still working basically every day so um, yes come along for the ride today I think that we're gonna go see some pretty awesome things and we'd love for you to join us Hi. <laughs> hey. Uh, so we made it to um, Mira Bellevue Park and uh, we're going to um, walk around a bit, get a bit of hiking in. Uh, like what time is it? 11.30, so we have like half an hour before um, uh, our vineyard opens. So. It's not a vineyard. Oh, what is it? An orchard. Oh. Oh, that's right, it's like a cidery, right? Yeah. I have been preparing my palate for wine this whole time. Wine no, no wine today, baby. Cider it is. Let's get outside. Yeah. I can't be in this van anymore. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. Look at this. What a difference. So I'm not sure if we mentioned this last time we were here, but even if we did, it was so many months ago now. And like we said earlier, it was in the winter and it was not even nearly this beautiful when we were here last time. I mean, I guess beauty is subjective, so it really depends if you like winter or not, which we do not. Um, but this park is massive. So if you live in Kelowna or you've been to Kelowna or you've looked up pictures of Kelowna, you may have seen the Mira Trestles, which is actually in this park, except this park is huge and it would take us a very long time to walk over there. So if we wanted to, we could drive there. But as, again, like as Nick said, we don't have tons of time today and we just kind of wanted to get outside. There are so many different trails here. There are people out here with their bikes today, people walking, people with their families. And yeah, it's a beautiful day and a huge park filled with a whole bunch of different stuff to do. So we just arrived here at Soma Craft Cidery in Kelowna. Again, we've never been here before, but we've been dying to go because there are alpacas and cider that's made right here on this orchard. And we just pulled in and it's absolutely gorgeous. Saw some of the alpacas still left. Hope to get a closer look soon. So yes, 
come in with us. We make our ciders with uh, dessert apples, tasting apples. Oh my god. So we don't have to add the sugar. Like if you use cider apples, they're very tart. It smells like liquor. It, like whiskey. I compare yeah. it to whiskey. Some yeah. people compare it to a Chardonnay. Wow. Yeah. And you get a taste of vanilla at the end. Is this the only place you can get these ciders or like is this available in like different liquor stores? This is the problem that we have. We have the oak aged cider now and then the ras raspberry basil. Raspberry basil. Um, I mean, the, I mean, we can have a little bit of each, right? And then still close them up they'll still be good i mean i love that raspberry basil that i know so i good. i i think that i just want like i wish we had these to have like now and then before the wedding actually we should just come back before the wedding and just like top these up and bring them down because i think that'd be a lot of fun yeah to just have like a to just go down and like have these yeah of course um but yeah i think the raspberry basil would be good like daytime and, and the then price was good too yeah so i was super surprised so just for the two the two tastings it was five dollars each um i think those got comped uh, but for the price of the two growlers like just the bottles it was ten dollars for the bottles but to fill them was only twelve dollars so all in was i guess 34 bucks and um, for the growlers and the and the cider but we can always oh sap <laughs> <laughs> but we can always bring the growlers back and refill them so it would be an additional $24 to fill up the two growlers with some cider which is, which is so like, sick delicious actually like really bomb cider that's so good <laughs> exciting part. Okay, well not that, but you'll see in a sec. kiss the husband you may kiss the bride you may now kiss the bride you may now kiss the bride because we're only talking to men and now I pronounce you husband and wife Celebrate come on what's the countdown from today two weeks I think it'll be two weeks as of tomorrow. No, it's Saturday. It's not Saturday today. No, it's not? No, it's Friday. Uh, yeah. It'll, two weeks, two weeks and tomorrow. one day. So, like, everything is... Well, it feels like things are coming together. Yeah. 
your shoes have arrived at your mom's place so you have to go try them on which means we have to make a trip up there maybe next week mm -hmm. the flower girl dress arrived doesn't fit so that's but i ordered backup dresses what else what else do we have to do so invites are out catering is not booked but the catering only has to book to be booked 24 hours in advance because it's like a 10 person wedding catering's good then catering will be fine your suit is already it already fits yep okay so we just have to make sure that for you we try on your shoes and then we sort out your hair and your makeup and your beard for that day. makeup what makeup are you just gonna leave your facial hair like that i'm gonna shave my neck and my cheeks yeah my chin what about this i'm leaving that what is that we're getting married, we're getting married. You Aww. have to marry me, because you <laughs> asked. <laughs>